How's it going guys? Welcome back to Blake Check. If you're new to the channel, my name is Blake. It's nice to meet you. If you're interested in my perspective as an early EV adopter, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Now, if you've been following along for a while, you'll be familiar with these two EVs behind me. This is my 2018 Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth Edition, and this is my wife's 2023 Volkswagen ID4 Pro S rear wheel drive. I've made plenty of videos about these two EVs and why we chose them in particular. If you're interested in learning more, go ahead and check the links in the description and browse the rest of the channel. Today's not going to be so much about them, but rather about our home charging situation. By now, I'm sure most of you are aware that one of the main benefits of owning an EV is the convenience of charging at home. So rather than having to go to a gas station, you know, twice a month, pay 50 bucks to touch a gross gas nozzle to fill up your car, all you have to do with an EV is plug your car into the wall when you get home, and then when you wake up the next morning, you have a full tank. So when it comes to charging at home, you do have a few options. Let me flip the camera around so we can go over some of those. The first option is to use what's known as a level one charger. So some EVs like Tesla's come with a mobile charger which can be plugged into a standard 110 volt wall outlet. These allow you to charge at home or on the go anywhere you can find these common wall outlets. They're great to have on road trips in case of an emergency or if you're visiting friends or family. This is Tesla's Gen 2 mobile charger. It used to come with the purchase of any Tesla but they pulled an apple and removed it. Now you have to pay an extra $230 to add it to your purchase package if you want one, which is crazy to me, but hey, Tesla's a business, not a charity, I get it. These types of mobile chargers combined with a standard 110 outlet are capable of charging most EVs at a rate of about four miles per hour. That means for every hour that your car is plugged in, you'll recuperate about four miles of range. Now, if that sounds slow, it's because it is, but depending on your needs, you might be able to get away with a minimal setup like this. Say for instance, you only commute about 20 or so miles to and from work every day, you'll be able to recuperate those 40 miles by leaving your car plugged in for 10 or more hours overnight. But let's say you have a longer commute or maybe you have more than one EV or you just don't like cutting it that close. You might want to consider upgrading to a level two option. So let's pack up our mobile charger, head over here and talk about that. Your next option is to upgrade to a level two charger at home, but in order to accomplish that, you're first gonna have to upgrade your wall outlet in your garage. I did a full video on the installation of my 220 volt outlet that'll be linked in the top right hand corner of your screen or in the description below. Be sure to check that out. But in summary, I hired an electrician to install that for me and that ran me about $300 about two years ago. Today that could cost you anywhere between five and $1,500 depending on the distance from your outlet to the breaker box at your house. Fortunately, my breaker box is right on the opposite side of where the outlet needed to go. So it was the best case scenario for an installation like this. So just keep that in mind. But once you have this done, it kind of opens the door to a bunch of different level two charging options. If you're a Tesla owner, this is actually the most affordable level two charging option. All you have to do is buy this $50 220 volt adapter to replace the 110 volt adapter, it just pops right in to replace it. And then you can plug that directly into your 220 volt outlet. And as a matter of fact, if you have an adapter like this one, you can even use this setup to charge your non-Tesla EV like that ID4 back there with the same mobile connector that you use to charge your Tesla. So this is pretty much the most affordable option that you'll have and the one that I've been using for the longest time. The only downside to using this mobile connector is that I find that once the ambient temperature gets over about 80 degrees here in Arizona, this guy likes to overheat and cuts power from 32 amps down to 16 as a protective factor, which is kind of a bummer. But when this isn't overheating, it works really well. It charges at a rate of 7.7 .7 kilowatts on average, which is good for about 20 to 30 miles per hour, which is a huge leap from the standard 110 volt adapter and outlet setup that we talked about just a moment ago. So yeah, this is the home charging setup that we've been using for the past year and a half. And to be honest, it's been working okay for us, but because we have two EVs, I figured it's about time to upgrade to something a little bit more robust. This is a wall connector that was sent to us by Watt Saving. And what I like about it is that it plugs directly into that upgraded 220 volt outlet that you probably already have installed in your garage. This Watt Saving wall charger is capable of charging our EVs at up to 9.6 kilowatts or about 30 to 40 miles per hour, which is an eight amp jump over the mobile connector with that 220 volt adapter attached. And remember, I told you that this guy likes to overheat. So this is getting closer to 16 amps, like I mentioned before. So you might be wondering, why wouldn't you 
just upgrade to Tesla's wall connector if you're a Tesla owner, which is capable of charging at up to 48 amps. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because of the convenience of being able to remove this wall charger from this already installed outlet whenever you want. So when you install a Tesla wall connector, that has to be hardwired into the wall. So it's not as easy to remove that. If you are wanting to reinstall your mobile connector or if you're moving or something, you can easily remove this watt saving wall charger and take it with you. So I'll have this linked in the description below. Of course, I have a discount code for all of you guys if you are interested. Last I checked, this watt saving wall connector was going for about 450 bucks. But remember, if you use my discount code, which will be here at the bottom of your screen or in the description below, you can save 13% and that'll kind of bring it in the same price range as Tesla's wall connector. But remember, if you already have a 220 volt outlet installed in your garage like I do, you don't have to pay an electrician on top of that to install this. A couple more things that I want to point out to you with regards to this watt saving wall connector is the simplicity of the design for one, especially in this white color. I love how it blends into the wall. Some of the other ones I've seen on Amazon are a little too funky. I love how this one doesn't draw too much attention. And then for two, it was super easy to install this thing. So all you need to do is line up the charge cable and then there's a mounting bracket on the back side of this that just takes four screws to install. It really only took me five minutes to install. That's why I didn't show you the installation on camera. It's probably because it would have bored you to sleep. Um, but that's really it in terms of this watt saving wall connector. Again, I'll have those discount codes linked in the description below for you guys to check out if you're interested. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching. This has been Blake Check, and that's a wrap. Thank you.